السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الصلاۃ والسلام علی اشرف المخلوق وعلى آله وصحبه اجمعین اما بعد Once again we are blessed with the, the month of Ramadan. In this blessed month, may Allah accept our deeds and fulfill all the purposes. The main purpose of Ramadan is to develop taqwa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. يا ايها الذين امنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون و يو هو هاف بيليفد او بيليفرز ديكريد ابون يو فاستينج بريسكرايبد ابون يو فاستينج از ات واز ديكريد ابون دوز بيفور يو ذات يو مي بيكم رايتس Perhaps you will become mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Surah Al-Baqarah, verses number 183. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the word taqwa many times in the Quran and attached a lots of importance. Let's first understand the meaning of taqwa. Taqwa is to have fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is to be conscious of all it is to be conscious of all time fear of Allah will stop a person from committing wrong and evil deeds evil actions Thakwa motivates a person to do good and provide courage in following and promoting the truth people who have taqwa are called muttaqun they are the blessed and pious people muttaqun are the people who are always aware of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's likes and dislikes and act accordingly they fear allah's anger and eager to do all actions that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah opens the door of guidance only to such people the works openly and secretly in the same way it means setting up defenses by performing righteous actions to protect oneself from the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are always aware that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watching us watching them the word taqwa in different forms occurs in the Quran almost 250 times my brothers all of us need to make effort to rectify weakness within ourselves so that we can surrender ourselves completely to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and become very closer Surah Al-Hashr verses number 18 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqullah wal tundur nafsun ma qaddamat li ghadi وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ O believers, O you who have believed, fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear of Almighty and let every soul consider what it has forwarded for tomorrow. And fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah is aware of what you do. So my brothers in Islam, taqwa will pave a way to obtain provisions and blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions that He is with those people 
who fear him during the time of tribulations and that he is their guardian and protector promising to aid and support them in this life and in hereafter the month of ramadan is a month of taqwa by abstaining all the permissible food and drinks it develops oneself a self control if we can control these two then definitely everyone can control what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to avoid so consider this ramadan is a training ground so fill your month with the obedience of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recitation of quran night prayers spending charity and whatever you can and avoid everything what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden inshallah you will find increase in taqwa a change in the relationship with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this a pleasure and acceptance from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah so we ask allah in this blessed month to accept our efforts increase in taqwa and to fulfill all our needs amen ya rabbal alamin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh